who's my monthly favourites? Oh god, I just realised I'm not really in shot that much. I kind of have, I know, for June. God, that month has gone by fast. We're literally halfway through the year already. And even the new acting in general first. Um, I really like to wear leggings. I just, I don't know what it is. I just like the way they look on my legs. And I'm not usually like that. I'm always, not always, but sometimes I'm a bit pessimistic and don't see the best in myself. So when I wear leggings, sometimes I'm like, hey, I really like how my legs look in the house. We really keep wearing leggings. So. Um, YouTube channel. I'm really been addicted to prep sticks. So, I mean, his daily vlogs are just. Wait, no one does daily vlogs like him. He actually has a really good funny side. You can see him as someone who would joke at a time you shouldn't, but sometimes it's best to just joke whenever you can. I mean, sometimes the joke makes the moment yes depressing. <laughs> really great to see him coming back. Great to see him up to his own pricks again. So, do that actually start to miss him. I was like. Oh, I hope he's alright, don't mind me, just don't, but now he's back, it's like, yay. <laughs> and favourite film for this month. Um, can I take Pitch Perfect 2 back from last month? Because I watched that the other day and it actually wasn't that good. <laughs> I'm actually glad I didn't spend something go see a status in my watch it online and I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> it just wasn't worth it. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a bad film, but it wasn't the greatest either. It was just like... I've wasted two hours of my life or something. <laughs> but How to Play Dragon 2, I finally got to see that and that wasn't too bad. I mean, I did feel like prime when some parts came up. I don't want to spoil it, so that's a warning. <laughs> Favourite book? Uh, I've got these books. It's Elnan Park by Rainbow Wow. That book. My friend recommended a long while ago and I finally got to read in it and I couldn't put it down. I was like, I need to finish this. I need to give... Uh, my input and what I thought of it. Not just that, but it was a really good book. And I was like, I need to read it and see what happens. And also, Joey's book, of course. Of course, you can still see I'm reading it, but I'm halfway there, so it's the thing that I had picked up for a while, but it is still a really good book. Favourite outfit, so. Come on, Daniel, go downstairs. Is he down now? But my favourite outfits have been a red cardigan with some jeans and a white top as well. Sometimes it's a white top, sometimes it's yellow. You know, like, but it just. Yeah, it's, look. I mean, it's very casual but it's just something I've been wearing up into it's like it's warm and cozy and easy to slip into and it's like yeah and also my 14 R stars black jumper with green and blue galaxy leggings I mean it is hard to find something that goes with those leggings and they actually go together and it's like <laughs> they kind of go. My favourite album has been Symphony Soldier by The Cab, which is really old, 2012. I actually looked it up. I'm going back old style, but the thing is, I knew Angel with a Shotgun song as a kid, and I just knew it, and I was like, I need to find the album on that, and I'm really glad I did because it is a great album. It's just like, oh my god, it's the best album ever. Also, the Mortal Instruments City of Bones soundtrack is the best, so it's one of the best soundtracks so are. I mean, if you're not too annoyed by dubstep, because I think there's a little bit of it in there when it goes to really upbeat, and there are some sloppy songs on it as well, so it's a mix. My favourite song for this month has been Forever and Always by Parachute, going old style again, but the thing is, when I listen to it properly, I actually realised what it was about, and it was, it, it's just amazing how they were telling it a story, but still singing it, and it was still a proper song. It, it was like, this is actually a really great song, even though it's a bit soppy and depressing. For you past that, it's like, I'm at one with this song, I'm at one with it. And favourite TV show has been Teen Wolf. Since I don't watch that many TV shows at the moment, and Once Upon a Time is finished, so I had to resort to Teen Wolf. There's also anime, which I've been watching free, and I've been watching Sakai Itchy Atsuki. <laughs> God, I'm bad at pronunciations. So yeah, pretty much the swim club anime is... Well, I used to go swimming all the time, and now they don't so much, so they're just getting back to their old group, and they're going in swimming competitions, but over all that time, they're developing better friendships, and getting to know each other better, and it's just, it's a really great anime, as well as, the yeah, one which is about, you know, the men writing manga, trust me, it's a really good anime, but it's sad we cancelled, it's like, they've got to get all these deadlines things, and everything done but around that there's also relationships going on and, but yeah it would make you 
your for your audience is really good so you should watch those two animes if you watch anime and please do watch it with subtitles because dubbed is it, why <laughs> Well, it's actually a Yurik, but it's money don't buy you off. You should recognise if you listen to Tori Kerry, you just can't do it. I mean, sure, you can buy them a really lovely gift and they can love you for it, but no matter how good the gift is, that lovely isn't going to last forever. Uh, it's not going to last as long as the lovely could earn. I need to get deep on my three favourites, but yeah. My favourite time of post has been a gift set of Taylor Swift shoes trying to get her belt undone and she was really fairy at this and she was someone in that part of priority is fairy at your life doing something we would probably do. A dancer went up to help her out and she was just so thankful for it but she hugged him and was like thank you for saving me how embarrassing that moment could have been thank you <laughs> this is a really funny gift so it's just so great that she's still herself and she's not putting up this big act to be some famous person and she's still one of us. <laughs> Here's another thing I added on to this favourites video is favourite moment and that would be my Taylor Swift concert in Hyde Park and pretty much just a whole day actually. Not as long as you don't count all the sweltering parts where we were just sweating and I was feeling a bit sick and it was so hot and it was crowds swarming in the well. Run is exactly helping. And what's come for this month? I actually have nothing to come for this month. I mean at the end I might have Marcus Butler sign in but I'm not so sure because it's like double the price to get a ticket for his than it was to get for one for Joey's and it's like is it really worth it when there isn't a free poster or anything? <laughs> a friend really wants to get in into making videos and vlog it together so that's a maybe but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching everyone. Well. See ya. Concert should be to have good wi-fi. It's none. What kind of VIP for getting here?